Hi, welcome to Patty Pocket Pouring Art. Today I'm going to be doing a swipe with, I don't know, let me see, two, four, six, eight colors. Um, I'll go, at, go over the colors as I lay them down. Most of these are mixed colors, so I don't know what the ratios are as far as how much of one color or the other. But my medium today is Floetrol, probably about 90% Floetrol, 10% GAC 800. A few of these have a little bit of polycrylic in it because they're pigments and I really needed to get them dissolved before I put them in the cup and mixed them with the other colors. So that's what we have. So I'm going to be doing a small, um, a small swipe today. And I'm going to be going across here. I'm going to be using wet paper towels. Um, I already have my black artist loft down. This is just Floetrol and water. That's what that mix is mixed with. I'm going to use a cell activator that I use with my Shelly techniques, except this cell activator is um, a lot thinner than when I use it for the other technique. And it's 50% Floetrol, U.S. Floetrol, and 50% Australian Floetrol with Amsterdam Black. Where is that? Anyway, Black Oxide, Amsterdam. If you look down below, I have my Shelly recipe down there. So it's the same as that, except I thinned it down a lot more with um, the Floetrols. Make it thinner. I hope it's thin enough. So yeah, you want your paints to be pretty thin. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to be laying down the silver first. Now I don't want to use a lot of this because it does have some Deco Art um, what is it, sterling silver. It has a little bit of titanium white and some metallic acrylics chroma silver. So that's the mix on this. Pretty light, but since this is such a small canvas, I am just going to stick it on there because if I go to pour it, I would put too much for the size of this canvas. So what I'm trying to do today is find out how these colors go together so I can do a bigger, a bigger piece. Okay. So next I want to use, I'm going to use this. This is Chroma Molten Metals, and this is copper. Really pretty. Okay, so down there, each side. Okay, like I said, I don't want to use a whole bunch. So this next color is 50-50. Creative Inspirations Pearlescent and Golden Iridescent Pearl. So I'm going to put a little bit, a little more of this than, than the other colors. I want that contrast. Okay, and I think I'm going to switch these two. Okay, this one is a Gold Rush Hagi Life pigment mixed with this Folk Arts 14 karat gold. Really pretty. That, that pigment is beautiful. Okay. Then I'm going to use a little bit of titanium white. Just titanium white. Going on top of everything. Okay, this I this I mixed. Um, this is a persimmon I'd made, and then I put some Creative Inspirations raw sienna. I actually put some bare ultra. Is it satin enamel from Home Depot and some cadmium yellow uh, orange to make this color. So I have no idea how much of what I made, but I do like my oranges lately. I also want to be careful knowing that there's some satin in there. 
okay with swipes you know if you don't like to swipe the first time then go ahead and re-swipe it oh, what's going on over here okay the next color is this is an iridescent it's called highlight gold and it's a powder it's an iridescent powder and it is from TK TKB trading company out of Oakland I mixed a little bit with polycrylic first then I mixed with Floetrol. So I'm going to go ahead and put that here on both sides. Maybe I won't start with this side anymore. And we're going to It comes in a multi-pack so you can get different colors of the iridescent. I've had it for quite a while. The last color is 24 karat by Deco Art, and I added a little black to it. I think this is probably going to be too much paint. But we will see. All right. So what do you think that I do with this? Right now I don't like this at all. Here, get it, get it away. <coughs> Let's get to swiping. I'm going to be using paper towels. I'm going to wet them. And just, well, you know what? I need the cell activator. This sinks pretty quick, so I have to work pretty quick with this. So I'm going to go right down the middle with this and get going. See how it's sinking already? So I've got a deeper in there, it looks like. I like what's happening. Too well, shoot. Okay, I think that's the whitest one I have. Yep, I have to do two of them. That's fine. The edges are the hardest to do, I think. Yeah, I definitely like these colors. I could have done with a little less white, I think. I think the copper's hiding. Um, yeah, I, think I like it. I think I will do a big one. When you paint on there, tons of cells, no silicone at all. So, anyway, 
I'll bring you right back. I'm going to let it sit a little while, see if it changes, and I'll be right back. Okay, here it is. It's been about 10 minutes. I should have used a little more orange because I really like that peeking through there. It's almost like the gold is outlining a lot of the cells. And the black, I really like it. I like how everything flows on this one. I do think I'm gonna do a big piece with these colors. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Don't forget the notification bell. Now I have, I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you go down, I put a lot of tools and paints and other materials I use down in the description. If you click on that link, it'll take you right to Amazon. And for the next hour and a half, if you shop that link, I get a little tiny bit of commission from it and it doesn't cost any more for you. So please like and subscribe. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye.